thank you so much for watching everyone. The reason that I made this video was to help you to realize that if you do come across a mistake or a little roadblock in the painting process, it's a very easy fix with acrylic paints. I'm not an expert on watercolors or our oil painting, but when it comes to acrylic paint, I find that it's very easy because it dries very quickly and you can easily go over anything. So now I'm going to show you what I did to correct a blunder that I came across. Let's get right into it. You will encounter these situations where you know you're going along great and uh, and then all of a sudden you realize something's just not looking right and then you'll make the correction and you'll be good to go so I'm gonna come back in with more um, of the fur color by the way, you have to have a lot of white to cover something so dark on the background and then you can go over it with a little bit more of this background color. Try to match it up the best you can, but um, it is a just a tonal background so I can kind of play with that a little bit, you know, and just add the tealish color back in. So this ear, I'm actually going to come back and, and uh, bring it up a little bit higher and and then a little bit rounder so it should be round. I had it too square but the thing is you never get discouraged okay when you're painting don't ever just I'm done you know I didn't do a good job just keep on going at it that's a fantastic thing about paint you can go over it I mean there's a limit like if you go over it too many times it's going to get a little tacky but you won't have to just make corrections and uh, look back and study your work so far um, and then just make corrections as needed and and don't don't get discouraged and throw it away and keep all your beautiful artwork over the years and you'll see the progress as you go on and um, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna find that every artist out there has this happen to them. Right about here, and I'm just gonna take this whole ear off. How about that, guys? The whole ear. Just taking it off and are you all saying oh my gosh what is she doing oh my Okay, so I, I whited it out. I'm going to add some more of that teal color after that dries a little bit. I just felt like I had to start over on this. So, and you see that happen. Doesn't it make you feel a little better that, that nothing is done until it's done and you don't have to be discouraged? I'm not discouraged because we all learn every time you make a mistake, even in life, right? Every time you make a mistake, you learn something. And especially every time you make a mistake and you correct it, you learn something. Yeah. But, um, you know, little kid when they're learning how to walk and they they fall down and then they get back up and they kind of learn how to balance their little selves a little better but I 
made a mistake on this ear. And I just felt after I tried to adjust it size-wise, I just felt like it, it really just needed to be straightened out and just disappear and start over. And then um, this is feeling like it's getting a little bit tacky because it's wet and I'm playing on it too much tonight. So tomorrow I'll come back and, and you know, add a little bit more of this color. So that it blends better and then we'll we'll put that ear back on oh you poor little puppy you look so bad you look so bad right now but you look cute when you're outside Like I showed you in the video, if it's painted on dark, you may have to paint it with, a, you know, use a lot of white paint to cover over something, but then you come back over it with the colors that you're using and it covers just beautifully. So I wanted to show you that because a lot of times people will get into the painting process and they'll be going along just great. And then they come to this one frustrating area that they just can't seem to get right and they give up or they just throw the art out. Well, don't ever throw your art out. I look at old paintings of mine from years ago and I think, wow, look at how I've improved over the years. This is horrible. <laughs> or, wow, I, I can't believe I didn't know how to shadow just right or, you know, look at the way that I did that. You know, you just look and you see the differences that um, the years and practice makes. So save your artwork and cherish your artwork and just learn from things as you go along and you can learn from your mistakes because with like i said in the video with every mistake uh, you learn something and as you correct something you're learning as you go i think that if bob ross were alive today or any of the great artists like monet van gogh da vinci any of them not that i'm comparing myself to any of those fine artists um, but if they were alive, they would tell you that th it's always a learning process. You're always learning and your work is all, always getting better and better as you do things. As a matter of fact, um, if you look at some of Monet's paintings, you'll see like he did this, or maybe I'm thinking of Van Gogh, I was just looking at a book the other day, and you'll see that he did the same scene a few times. And each so time, it looked different. And with each new one that he did, there were more details in it. And I'm sure that was part of his painting process. And some of the treasures of these great artists is their sketchbooks. Um, they've been found and, and they're valued and worth a lot of money because um, those are precious. To see that those artists, you know, had started from scratch and, and they learned as they went. And I believe that all of them were self-taught. Um, you know, all of those ones that I mentioned anyway. So keep on learning and keep on growing and don't get discouraged. Uh, never give up. Never just throw your work away. Just make the changes that need to be made and you'll be really pleased with it at the end. If you feel like you're just really frustrated with it, it's just not turning out right, put it aside, go do something else and come back to it later. And when you look at it again, you may think, Wow, that's not so bad. Um, I was a little frustrated with this puppy. I just put it aside for quite a while, actually. And then I kept looking at it, and I was like, eh, 
it's it's looking pretty close to the real the actual photo of the dog uh, and then I went ahead and shared it with my daughter and she said oh it looks just like the dog so that helped you know then I looked at it again and I saw that um, it does look really close so it's going along fine let me go ahead and finish so it's kind of like that keep up the good work everyone happy painting stick with me give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and Put the bell on for notifications of the upcoming video and the full coverage of this pet portrait from beginning to end. Um, I look forward to painting with you. Have a great day and stay safe everyone.